Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is. But we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, the perfect storm is no longer brewing. The perfect storm is here, and it's here now. You know, a few months ago, right before March of this year, 2022, before Russia invaded Ukraine, I had mentioned that we were seeing a perfect storm brewing. I had mentioned that Russia was about to invade Ukraine, which they did a few days after I made that video, but that was just the first domino of many, many, many more to come. I had mentioned that the next dominoes that we were gonna see tip over, we were gonna see China invade Taiwan, but also Israel striking Iran's nuclear facilities, but also the surrounding enemies of Israel coming together to attempt to wipe Israel off the map. Well, folks, that perfect storm isn't brewing anymore. That perfect storm is here, and it's here now. We saw what the Russian invasion of Ukraine did in terms of the impact on the global supply chain, especially the food supply chain, especially involving the wheat. And now we see Iran has enough enriched uranium for several nuclear bombs and, it could, and can assemble them and get them on warheads within days whenever they want to. Israel said they would not allow this to happen. And now Israel must take action and strike Iran's nuclear facilities. Now let's talk about China's coming invasion of Taiwan. Well, folks, in case you haven't noticed, China is furious right now since Nancy Pelosi just visited Taiwan today. They warned her not to do it, and she went anyways. China is preparing for an invasion of Taiwan. They are also threatening the United States. And now we see China doing all these military drills in the South China Sea. We have U.S. warships and Chinese warships in the uh, South China Sea right now. But we see China doing all these military drills and even, they even have a drill scheduled uh, August 4th, this coming uh, Thursday, August 4th, through August 7th, where literally it is surrounding Taiwan in six different locations. You heard that right. China is going to be doing a live fire drill in six different locations surrounding Taiwan August 4th, this coming Thursday, August 4th to August 7th. We're literally, uh, again, it will involve live fire drills. We see Taiwan preparing for a Chinese invasion, even opening up hundreds of bomb shelters in the country. Some of the videos coming out of China, it literally looks like almost a D-Day invasion preparation with all the tanks and all the preparations China is doing right now, uh, especially right around the Taiwan Strait. We see sides being picked. Countries are siding with China. Countries are also siding with, uh, siding with Taiwan. A global conflict, a third world war is brewing. Folks, all of this is coming together. Again, you have Russia invade Ukraine, the first domino. We saw all the problems that came from that that affected the entire world. Now we see the China-Taiwan, China invading Taiwan coming, as well as the Iran uh, Israel and uh, striking Iran's nuclear facilities coming. You have the surrounding enemies of Israel coming together, plotting to wipe Israel off the map. All of this is coming together, and I can think of one word, convergence. Again, the perfect storm is no longer brewing, folks. The perfect storm is here. We have a global problem, and it needs a global solution. This is the perfect setup we're seeing right now, folks, for the coming Antichrist who's going to come onto the world stage after the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ. He's going to make order out of chaos. He's going to have all the answers. Everyone's going to look to this man 
as the Messiah figure. He's the false Messiah. He's the Antichrist, but he's, he's Mr. Fix-It-All. He's going to have all the, the answers. He's going to make order out of chaos. And he will confirm the covenant with the many, the surrounding enemies of Israel, Daniel 9.27, to start the seven-year tribulation period. But make no mistake about it, Russia invading Ukraine was just the first domino. What we're seeing right now coming together is China is preparing imminently to invade Taiwan. We see at the same time, again, Iran has enough to enrich uranium for a se uh, several nuclear bombs that they can assemble quickly within days and put them on warheads. Israel cannot allow this to happen. They are about to strike Iran's nuclear facilities. At the same time, Israel's enemies are plotting to come against Israel, join together a confederacy to wipe Israel off the map. Folks, this is convergence. The perfect storm is no longer brewing. The perfect storm is here. Um, this morning, I just kept being, the Holy Spirit kept putting Hebrews 11.7 on my heart, and I'm going to share it with you. By faith... Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Just like Noah was warned from God about the flood that was coming, he moved with fear, he prepared an ark. Those that went with him into the ark were protected while the flood came and destroyed everybody else. Likewise, we've been born from God in his word, the Holy Bible. You need to get on the ark right now. If you're not on the ark, if you're not saved, you need to get on the ark through the one door right now. That door is Jesus Christ. Because make no mistake about it, the flood is coming. The tribulation period, the judgment of God is coming and it is coming fast just like a full speed train. But just like Noah and those that were with him in the ark were protected from the flood, just like Lot and his two daughters were protected from the judgment that befell Sodom and Gomorrah, likewise, those that are saved are going to be raptured, harpazoed, snatched away to be with Jesus in heaven while the judgment of God is being poured out on humanity. And if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now and everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you could be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him Forgive of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell, and I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. 
Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep watching with me. Keep looking up and God bless you all.